Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create these three patterns using Python. So in the previous video, we have created similar patterns, these three patterns using star. In this, we'll be using numbers, which will be incremented after each step. So this series will go step by step. I will increase the difficulty or the complexity step by step so that when we reach the complex uh, patterns which contains like three or four loops and many variables you will be very confident and you will understand that how these things are working this is why i'm moving step by step okay so let's discuss that what are the concepts that you need to know as we have discussed in the previous video also you must know that what is the difference between a string and an integer variable you should know how a for loop works you should know how a range function works and you should know how this for and range function work together and you should know how print work okay so uh, this is what you should know so that you can understand this pattern very clearly although i'll explain you each and every line and each and every step that will happen in this program so don't worry and now let's get straight to our notebook okay okay so now our first pattern is to create this one okay so this will be our first pattern so first of all let's define a value let's say a a is equal to zero or the initial value if you want to start from zero like this uh, like in this one we have started from zero so we'll define a as zero if you want to start from four or five or six you can define that value here then we'll define another value as five now this is the number of steps that you want to add in your uh, pyramid okay and then the second variable is j let j is equal to one okay now don't worry what this variable j is i'll explain you when i'll use it so let's create a for loop for uh, k in range uh, and then here we'll write the uh, list on which our fun uh, for function will iterate so first let me write the command then i'll explain you that what is happening inside okay so there there you can see we have created our first pattern this one okay so now let me take some time to explain you that how this for loop is working so let's iterate to the value of k now this range function will generate a list as you know the range function generate a list and that list will contain the value which will be uh, 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 because this will go from 0 to 5 okay as you know in range function the starting value is included and the last value is excluded so this will be the list that this for loop will accept now as you know in for loop this k will iterate through all the values so the first value selected will be 0 okay then let's come to this print uh, command here so print j j's value is 1 and then str of a now let me ask you that why are we converting this a into a string because we are doing concatenation here if we just tried the number 0 here then this will raise an error or this will simply multiply okay and we don't want that we just want to concatenate or want to write multiple values here so this is why we'll convert this into a string so first the value of j is 1 so 1 into a which is 0 this is why 1 0 is displayed then the a value and j value is increased by 1 so a becomes 1 and j becomes 2 right then the k value will also become 1 okay so let me remove this okay so j which is having 2 into str of a which is having value 1 so 
one will be displayed two times and same will happen again and again until this list is completed or the number four is reached okay so i guess now you understood that how this uh, half pyramid is made now let me go back to the values this was zero okay so now i'm giving you five seconds to think that how can we how can we use this same code and make just a few changes to convert from this pyramid to this pyramid there you can see it is facing in the opposite direction i am giving you 5 seconds just think okay so now your time is over so let me show you that how you can create that uh, opposite facing pyramid so let's add one more uh, variable here and that variable will be one blank space okay so let me first explain you that how this uh, pyramid is formed so there are two values here first is the number and second is the number of blank spaces okay so first the number of blank spaces is let's say 4 then it is decreased by 1 3 then it's decreased by 1 2 then it becomes 1 and then 0 so there are two values which are changing in each iteration the number and the blank space so we are already having the number let's add the blank space also okay so we are already having our k variable in this for loop so we'll use that k variable only because it will increase after each iteration so we'll simply do k into b right and then we'll add so let me save this and run uh, okay <laughs> and okay so one more thing needs to be changed uh, that is the for loop needs to go in the backward direction here the list created is 0 1 2 3 4 but what we want is 4 3 2 1 0 because the spaces are decreasing not increasing right so we want a reverse for loop so uh sorry reverse range function so let's write the reverse range function let me show you how you can write the reverse range function so first the starting value which is 4 because we are starting in backwards then we will write minus 1 and if you want to do reverse iterating then you write minus 1 as the third value the third value in this range function is the difference between two consecutive numbers so the list generated will be uh, 0 1 2 3 4 why am i writing it <laughs> Okay, so the list generated will be four, three, two, one, zero. So let's save this and run this, and there you can see that our reverse pyramid is also created. So we have completed two tasks. We have created our one side facing and then the opposite side facing pyramid. Now let's combine them both and create a full pyramid. This one. Okay. so once again i am giving you 5 second time to think that how you can create this uh, whole pyramid okay and one hint is that you just have to make one change you just have to write one number one alphabet whatever it is but you just have to make one change okay okay so now your time is over so let me show you that how you can do so Tatra, you just have to add two here <laughs> because the only difference we are having from this pyramid to this pyramid is multiplication of the numbers by two. There you can see the zero we are having only once, but here two zeros. Uh, sorry, one two times, but here we are having four times, three times, six times. Okay. so this was the only difference here let me save and run this and there you can see we have created a, created a full pyramid okay so this is it this was a short video in which i have shown you that how you can create the number pyramid but i know you are not satisfied with this 
you must be wondering that how you can create a pyramid in which the numbers are changing like this is one then two three four five six right so think about it and the next video will be on that pyramid only okay so meet you in my next lecture bye bye